Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Comparing Naidu regime with KCR regime that is today, but you saw Naidu regime in Hyderabad 10 years back. No, uh, I think uh, 15 years back. And now we see KCR. How are the two different? See, leaving out the Congress regime that that came in between. Naidu, he was supposed to be the CEO of Hyderabad. I mean, globally, he was hailed as the CEO. KCR is not hailed as a CEO as such, but as you, you are saying, there are some definite concrete things happening on the ground. How do you compare the two? I mean, See, uh, Naidu definitely brought Hyderabad on the world map. Otherwise, I remember a time when I told somebody I am from Hyderabad, they used to say the city from which Azharuddin comes. Mm -hmm. It was so badly known within in the country itself. So Naidu put us on the map, he ensured that people like Microsoft and others came into Hyderabad. Uh, what KCR has done very nicely is uh, that uh, probably he himself is not driving the whole thing, but he is ensuring that an ecosystem is made which drives a similar entrepreneurial growth in Hyderabad. And the face of this growth is KTR, which is the son of KCR. And he is driving a situation which is ensuring that the natural advantages of Hyderabad are well known all over the country and the world so that all these people come in and invest here. I can tell you for a fact that there is a very systematic planning to ensure that all the names in IT and other areas come into Hyderabad. If you look at all the big names in IT, whether it is Facebook or Google or Microsoft, they have huge presence in Hyderabad, including Amazon. Mm. So that is being targeted. Those who are not there, there is a very systematic and a very deliberate attempt to attract them to Hyderabad. So that is continuing to happen. Uh, in this case, it is not being driven by the chief minister himself. Mm. It is driven by his people, led by his son, KTR. Hyderabad has rebounded after four or five years of uncertainties and confusion in 2009 and 2014. And you have given me all the figures and facts like how it has happened. What happens to Mr. Naidu's Andhra now? Uh, see, I am more exposed to Telangana and like I said from the ABCD, avoid bypass, confuse, delay regime. We have come to a very progressive regime in Telangana. Andhra, Naidu's Andhra started off with a big disadvantage of being uh, with less revenue, less urbanization and very little infrastructure. However, uh, with the current uh, work which has been done, a uh, lot of industries are going to Andhra and the industrialization in Andhra is far superior to most of the other parts of the country. Uh, they have a big advantage of having a lot of uh, ports all along the coast and they are taking advantage of that. And with the new industries which are coming in Andhra, I think it will grow. But unlike IT which is a fast mover, uh, industrialization takes much more time. So what Naidu could do in Hyderabad in 5 to 7 years will probably take 15 to 20 years in Andhra to show similar results, but the direction is correct. Between Mr. Naidu and Mr. Kesia, you have seen both regimes. What favours the industry? Which regime favours the industry more? Uh, if you look at, uh, in terms of industry, definitely Naidu has an edge. Mm -hmm. If you look at the service industry, Hyderabad has a big edge. If you want a direct comparison, especially on the industry front, both the places we started off with a power deficit of almost 40%. Mm. Both the places have come power surplus. So I think great achievement on the part of both of them. One area where uh, Naidu probably steals the show from KCR mm. is the incentives. The incentives in Andhra are up to date to industry. Mm. Both have announced great incentives to industry. Unfortunately, in Telangana, the incentives have got delayed by four to five years. Mm. And that is creating a question of doubt whether it is worth even considering incentives in the planning when a new industry comes up. So you're saying industries are going to Andhra Pradesh and basically services sector is what is driving Hyderabad's growth now. Yeah. 
So if you look at uh, the geopolitical advantages of Andhra with so many ports and being linked to the value chain system, Andhra has a big advantage there. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, Hyderabad being a, a urban center with a huge ecosystem and a background with a much better climate has become a magnet for service sector. Mm -hmm. Health, education and IT is driving the service sector in Hyderabad like no nobody else. Mm -hmm. The big uh, additional advantage in Hyderabad for the type of infrastructure which we have, our cost is far lower than any city. Mm -hmm. Hyderabad would be counted probably in the top five cities of the country. But if you look at the cost of living or the cost of real estate or the rental for real estate will be lower than the 15th city in India. Mm -hmm. So we'll be comparable probably to Ranchi and you know smaller cities like that. Mm -hmm. Vadodara, Ranchi would probably even be costlier than Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. So this is driving the growth in service industry in Hyderabad. It is attracting huge amount of talent. It is creating an ecosystem which is going to become self-sufficient in future. Mm -hmm. And the huge ORR which is around city is ensuring that the land prices will never go up in future because as soon as the land prices go up a little more, mm -hmm. there is much more supply which comes in. Mm -hmm. Just a few kilometers ahead, the supply comes in and keeps the, land, uh, the real estate prices, mm -hmm. which is basically a biggest driver for cost of living. Mm -hmm. So that is kept in check.